Hey, this is Dan, Jessa, and Braxton. Oh, and Pepper. And in 2019, we did a complete rebuild of our vintage travel trailer and hit the open road. Join us on one of our adventures as home meets road. Good morning from South Padre Island. And it is February of 2022. It has been 45 days since I have picked up the camera and stared at a lens. Um, yeah, I wasn't really planning on taking a break that long, but uh, Vlogmas, those 25 videos in December, really did a number on me. And I kind of just need to do relax and figure out where I really want this channel to go or where I want these videos to go. So yeah, it's been a crazy 45 days. Honestly, not really. The weather down here has been so bad. Obviously, I can't really complain because it's not negatives and the wind is not as crazy as it is up north or the, I should say, snow. Can you tell I need practice again talking to a camera? <sighs> yeah, anyway, the weather's been pretty bad. We've been kind of locked into our trailer in our little square footage for a lot of days. Uh, a lot of playing uh, Mario games on our Nintendo Switch. Not much going on across the way with uh, SpaceX. Well, okay, there's a lot going on, but not much I can show. We just haven't been over there. Um, yeah, about the only thing we have done is a little bit of beach time here and there. Braxton is surfing now. Well, at try trying, he's working on it. Uh, got some work done on the truck and we went on a pirate ship. Yeah, uh, did the pirate ship thing with the whole full-time families. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, um, here's some B-roll. B-roll. I don't even remember what all this stuff is called. Here's some B-roll of what has happened in the last 45 days. <sighs> I'm going to show you that while I'm getting ready to empty the truck and get some work done. We've got some serious upgrades coming in the next couple of days. See, like I said, not much going on. Um, but hey, the truck 
has side steps. Braxton and Jessa insisted on that. I got a nifty little Mopar fold-away step back here, which saves me from having a hernia getting into the back of this truck. And hey, we got the bed liner done. <laughs> yeah, uh, finally found a Linex place here in Brownsville that was able to order enough bed liner to get this thing done. So what are we doing now? Ugh, can you tell? I am not ready for this. What are we doing now? What's going on? Finally getting around to doing the air system. It took me over a month to find all the parts for this. But first, I gotta get the center console out of here. Okay, found all six screws that people are talking about. Lift up on the back. Pull forward. And apparently everything will disconnect. For anybody that wants to know, this is what it looks like. Six bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two electrical connectors. And here it is, a 3500 Bighorn center console in all its glory. One of the big things is Braxton has no power outlets whatsoever, so we're going to switch that and we're going to install some gauges for the air system, hopefully right here. All right, so here's the end product. We have a regular cigarette plug and we have two USBs. wire with the factory wire and I'm going to put a plug right here. One of the biggest problems that people do is the biggest mistakes when wiring is they don't give themselves enough slack. So look how much slack I gave myself. I'm going to put the connector right here. Always give yourself enough slack. What do you think, Braxton? It looks great. <laughs> no, we gotta put this back in. So I made myself a ground wire. Oh. So this ground wire is gonna go right here. And then this is going to be a plug that's going to be here. Again, to make it easy to take the center console out again. Okay. I'm only going to be using one of these pins for today. The other one is for future expansion. Okay. 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 Hello. You're having fun playing with your friends? Yeah. You see right there, these are these are my connectors. So this is going to be the ground and I have a spare ground for later on. This is my power. I have spare ignition for later. These are the sensor wires for the gauge. Everything can be unplugged so it can be pulled out. Now I just need to grab power and ground. Here's the diagram I've been working on. So there's battery and ignition. I need to find this connector underneath the dash and then plug this in. When you buy upfitter switches from RAM, you get all this. So I just gotta find this plug underneath the dash and I have power. It is the next morning and it looks like they are getting ready to stack S20 on top of booster four. Ah, uh, so yeah, um, didn't really get far yesterday. I got the center console done. Well, everything on the inside got done. Everything got wired in without cutting a single factory wire. So that's nice. So here is the gauge. Uh, come on, focus. The gauge, so this one reads both the uh, tank pressure and the airbag pressure. 
And then Braxton now has power. Ta-da! Uh, now it is time to finally get around to installing the tank, which is going, let's see, underneath the tonal cover part right there. I'm gonna install these brackets and figure out how to mount that. Hopefully I get far today and hopefully we get to see uh, a stack happening across the street. All right, this thing right here has been a lifesaver and you can tell I've been keeping the bed clean. Yeah, that's because I take my shoes off. All right, let's hope there's enough clearance to mount that there. Finally got around to drilling a hole. So what I'm going to be using is a nut rivet. It's gonna go in here, rivet it in, with this thing and then I have somewhere for my bolt to go. Alright, tank is done and the uh, nut rivets for the compressor are done. Now I gotta bolt that. Alright, tank and compressor are done, at least back here. The only thing is this end connection is going to go to another hose. But I gotta get all the other stuff done first. Currently running the wires, currently running the lines. Right here underneath the driver, let me zoom out. I just put in rivet nuts and this is... Ugh. Where the solenoid will go. It's 10.30 at night. It's moving. Good morning. Uh, we stayed up till 1 a.m. Around 11.30 last night, SpaceX started lifting uh, Ship 20 with the chopsticks uh, on the uh, orbital launch tower. And by 12.40, it was stacked on top of Booster 4 getting my first real look at it right now. So I got up a little later than I wanted to. My body is sore from laying underneath the truck and getting all the lines run yesterday. Um, waiting for the sun to clear that cloud and then hopefully that will give me a really good shot. The sun has finally cleared 
Hopefully I'm getting something. Man, the mosquitoes are bad this morning. So finishing the wiring, these are the fuses and the relays for the uh, auxiliary switches. These are the connectors. These right here are some as well. But the primary ones I'm after is these two. So I gotta pull the plugs out and then find the appropriate wire here to plug in and connect it. And like this, the entire system will be done without cutting a single factory wire and it's all wired into the truck. This is pretty awesome. Okay, so this one, this is not being used, but it's easier just to plug it in now and then cover the wire and use it later. Same with this one. This is my ground for the air horns, and this is the switched power for the air horns. And then on this one, I have power for the compressor, the two solenoids for the airbags, and this one is not being used. But anyway, so the air comes in. This is the main solenoid that lets air in. This is my sensor that lets me know what the airbag pressure is at. This hose goes back to the airbags themselves. And then this is the solenoid that allows me to let air out through this right here. So I gotta wire up these two solenoids. And then this guy right here, this is the main line in my main sensor. And then this is the line that goes to the front to the air horn. That's what's going on over here. for the air horn. The air horns did not go as planned. Um, I tried to get the in as one unit but I had to take the whole bracket off and basically install them by themselves. I don't know if you can see this. And of course I need to extend the hose that connects the two systems and it's a different size than the hose I have. So Right now I only have half of the horns, yeah. All right, just finished programming the auxiliary switches in here, auxiliary three is now the compressor and it looks like it's working. It's going very slow, so I wonder if I got a leak somewhere. Well, nothing's going according to plan, but hey, the air horns are working. <laughs> 